Why are there so many lip singers in your choir stand? <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, for another Real Talk with your boy, JT. And as, and as I give the most high, all the honor, the glory, and all the praise and worship. This is a video response back to you, Lissandra. Um, great email about choirs and praise teams. Um, you wanted me to come from a, a musician, a, mu a minister of music standpoint. And I'm not going to tell you what I've heard, sister. I'm going to tell you from experience. I've been playing in church since I was about 14 years old. And the longer you stay in it, the worse things you will see. Now, I ain't trying to talk bad about nobody. But there are going to be some things I say in this video you're not going to like. And that's fine. There are so many people they want the gift of singing, sister. But they wasn't blessed with it. They wasn't. There are so many people trying to make themselves have something that the most high didn't bless them with. There are so many people that don't understand the difference between gifts, talents, and abilities. Some trying to make their ability be their gift. The Bible says that your gift will make room for you. You ever notice a lot of people, ooh, I wish I just had that, that, that gift where I could sing like such and such. There are actually people out here that try to make themselves have what they weren't blessed with once again. There are so many people that's going to commit to being in the choir or a praise team because there ain't too many choirs no more nowadays like it used to be back in the day. But there are so many people that commit themselves to it knowing that they wasn't going to stick with it no way. Then there are so many people getting off into it. They may can sing, but they got the wrong, the wrong heart, the wrong attitude. They want glory for themselves. They want to be lifted up. And then there are, there are the ones that are very dedicated, very faithful, but they just don't have the gift of singing. That's why in a lot of choir stands, I call them the hide behind people, people. Because they stay in the choir stands and depend on others to put the notes out while they hide and lip sing like they really doing something. If you shut that down and go through everybody one-on-one, -on -one, you'll really hear who can sing and who can't. But I always said when I was dealing with so many choirs back in the day, you can always pinpoint the lip singers. And the lip singers be the most dedicated ones. They had everything. I don't care what event you got, what engagement you got. I'll be there. They faithful. But they don't have the gift. See, this may sound bad and wrong, but it's not. Even let me, let me go back to the Old Testament. See, this is what this is what a lot of minister of music don't tell their choir. The Bible said in the Old Testament that David hired skillful people, skillful musicians, skillful singers. Even in the Old Testament, teach Holy Spirit, that was their only job in the temple. The worship service. They were so good that the Bible told us that they didn't have another job. They didn't need no more distractions. They focused and only focus was the worship in the temple. But see, we so quick to tell people, oh, just get up there and, and, and just and do it for God. They were skillful in the Bible, making a joyful noise. Nowadays, a lot of people just making a lot of noise and calling it praise and worship. First of all, there's a difference between praise and worship. This is what's not taught a lot of times in a lot of buildings too. People getting worship and praise mixed up. When you worship, you don't have to know how to play no instrument. 
Because your lifestyle is your worship. You ain't got to know a piano note, a guitar note, none of that to be in true worship. Praise and worship does go hand in hand together. But now you, you got to be proud and pumped <laughs> by the praise team leaders now. I'm going to tell you something. I don't need none of that. You know what prize and pump me up before I even think about going into a building? The Holy Spirit in my home, in this truck, wherever I'm at. So when you see all these lip singers, they heart may be in it and really, really want to do it, but they don't have the gift. But they're the most faithfulest ones. And the ones that can't, the ones that can sing, those are the ones that most of the time keep up all the hell in the choir stand. Because they know they can sing. They know they can play the keyboard. They, they know they can play the drum set, the organ, and maybe even multi-talented in different eras. And, and just, they, 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 they got the gift. But they using the gift in the wrong way. It's hard to balance out a choir stand. Then you got the ones that's tone deaf. I mean, excuse me, tone deaf. Excuse me for that. That really think they singing. And you can go through all 12 keys and they still can't find they key, they note, they harmony. Why? Because they tone deaf. I'm going to say this out of love. When you tone deaf, singing ain't your calling. Because you'll never be able to get in key. And most of the people that's tone deaf is the ones that's giving themselves the gift. Now, you may be tone deaf and not been able to straighten up in so many ways. But nine times out of ten, most people that's tone deaf, singing is not their calling. But they're going to make it their calling. And then when you try to correct them, <laughs> all hell break loose. You got to recognize what your gift is. The lip singers in the choir stand are going to always hide behind others. And then there are some, I'm, let me rightly divide this video, and then there are some that can really sing that are lip singers. I got to tell that right. But they have no confidence in themselves. They can't sing with confidence because they don't have it. They scared. They worry about what others going to think. I know too many people that sing and they got a beautiful, they got a beautiful voice, but they scared of, of what others are gonna say. They they don't have no confidence when they sing. They can't they can't look at the congregation. They just they 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 operate in fear and they continue to operate in fear. But I'm gonna tell you something. When you're doing something for the Most High, you can't keep saying I'm scared. So you gotta really recognize what you are called to do. So many musicians that 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 won't put it into practice. They want to be they want to be in leadership and are in leadership a lot of them, and they don't have the gift. They done learned how to play a few notes, and now they all of a sudden a minister of music, but don't even know what ministering of the music is. So many people, musicians, I just want to play. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. It's hard work. Ain't none of us just skipped past the hard part and jumped out there and said, oh, I got it now. I'm reaping. I'm reaping. No. As a musician, I say this boldly. Every day is a learning experience for me. Practice don't make me perfect because I ain't perfect. But practice does make me better. I don't use that term saying uh, practice make me perfect like a lot of people say. No, I'm not a perfect man. There are times when I may hit a wrong note or two, even singing and playing. I So if I could do that, I mean, if I messed up, then it means I'm not perfect. <laughs> you know, so I'm not perfect. And I try to tell people all the time, so many people get in the choir stand because others force them up there. Oh, girl, I'm, I'm, I'm having fun. I'm going. You might, well, you might well join the choir, too. Don't worry about if your voice ain't all that. See, that's a big mistake to me. It's just like me saying, I want to go in my backyard back here, and, and I'm going to get up under there and put that motor in that car back there. But I ain't, I ain't no mechanic. I don't know nothing about putting that motor in. But I'm going to go do it. 
That don't add up. Oh, I'm gonna go get on this airplane and I'm gonna ask the pilot, can I drive that plane? I ain't had no driving time. I ain't practiced. I ain't done none of that. But I'm gonna get up there and do it. Whatever it is that you do, put the time in. It's gonna be a lot of time. It's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of heartaches and pain. A lot of people wanna sing. The brother was telling me the other day, man, I I just uh I knew I could sing, man. Wouldn't would never put down the cigarettes, nor the beer. Vocal box, you ain't got no vocal box, it's gone. I believe this too, that that everybody that wanna sing that smoke. They continue to shorten up their time of singing what they smoking. Because their voice get more and more raspy. It, they wind level get more and more short. From growing up, everybody I played, played with was a heavy smoker and a heavy drinker. And now, to this day, really can't none of them sing. They voice, they, they, they messed up. They messed it up. And now they sitting up talking about if I would have just left that alone. If I would have just left that alone. If I would have left them women alone, JT. If I would have just just done things different. It, it's too late now. When the Most High blessed you with a When you were blessed with a gift, treasure that. Present your body a living sacrifice to be holy and acceptable. This is your temple right here. Temp temporary. If the Most High was so so awesome to bless us with it, why not try to take care of it, even though it's on borrowed time? But be good in it and treat it right while you're in it. I come from a family of hard smokers, hard drug users, hard drunks. Everybody know that know me, they know how my family, how my uncles and everybody were on both sides of the family. And I use that to never want to be like. That's why my voice is still clear. That's why I don't have women over here, women over there, babies over there. That's why even though they older than me, now they looking up to me as an example on, hey, I should have did like JT. I don't need to get high. <laughs> I got a, a highness that, 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 you can't get from this world. I call it being spiritual high. Even when that, even when I just think about that spiritual highness, it, mm, it do something to me. The weed can't get you there. The drunkenness can't get you there. One thing about getting high and getting drunk and shooting up all this dope and pill popping and everything, once you get through coming down from it, if you're blessed to come back from it, you still got the same issues. You still in anxiety. You still depressed. They still diagnosing you with bipolar and schizophrenia because you ain't realize it's a spiritual battle. With a spiritual battle, you need a spiritual highness. And that highness that I'm talking about is the Holy Spirit. Do you have it? If you don't have it, are you trying to get it? Are you trying to get it? When I say it, I mean to that level. Because I don't like the, I don't call the Holy Spirit an it. Are you trying to get the Holy Spirit to that level? Well, I love how the Most High changed up this message at the end. That's my time, y'all. So, and it's, it's, it's the reason why the Most High led me to that. You know, because there's somebody watching that really needed to hear this last part. I don't know who you are, but I feel that deep in my spirit, with my spiritual discernment, I, I heard, I feel it. Don't know who you are. Because it ain't about, and let me say this as I end, it ain't about how many times you go to church and sing. There are going to be many people in the choir stand. They singing their way into the lake of fire. There are a lot of people, even the Bible say they worship me with they. They worship me with their lips, but their heart was far from me. You can apply that right now. A lot of people singing, praying, laying hands, prophesizing. I 
think about that. But where they gonna end up at? I leave you with that. Don't gamble with your soul. Y'all stay blessed, my brothers and sisters. Shalom.